how long does it take lettuce within aquaponic setup to actually mature and can be used as you know lettuce on the table stay tuned Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Just feed them, just change some water, and they are looking okay. Alright, so let's get into the video. Okay, so I planted these uh, a week ago, right? And they are coming up very nicely, right? Some of them are not spaced according to how they should be spaced. This one actually it was the only one that came out of a packet it didn't have bought a few weeks ago right so this is like the oldest um over on this side i have a few more that i think came with that packet also like this one that one they are kind of like a droopy because of the of the sun the heat right okay so the question is how long does it really take for your lettuce plant to actually start to look like lettuce? I mean, like, you know, you can actually read them, right? There are a lot of, there are a lot of numbers going around on the internet. Uh, when you read and when you actually ask persons, person will tell you 40 days, uh, 45 days, 60 days, and um, some 90 days, right? All of these days might be right, depending on where you're at. And how you're actually doing your lettuce in aquaponics right and for sure 90 days aquaponics uh, that's a long stretch I know that 90 days is the time that is given if you actually plant your lettuce seeds um, in the soil right uh, between 40 to 60 days that sound a little bit more like yeah that's it and that's depending on several factors one of them is yeah your stock that you have here as fish um how big they are how small they are you know how regular you feed them and also the flow of water you see lettuce plants i've seen where in which um you know persons have actually written literature on lettuce um suggesting that lettuce should not be planted within a soggy soil that's true that's the soil because the soil actually holds the moisture um, more than let's say the plant a bed but as far as aquaponics is concerned i do not use a bell siphoning and i do not use a timer i use a system where in which the water actually fill up to a particular level it in the pl plant a bed and it actually exit into uh, a little opening there i don't know what to call it it's just my little mechanism right however the the, the um the, the media within the planter bed is at a particular level that allows the seed not to be too much submerged in the water but as the plant grow the roots will actually find its way in the moisture um taking what it needs from the you know from the solids that exist within the space right on both sides right okay so how long does it take your lettuce plant to grow will depend on your fish primarily and your water flow now i showed it to your video already where which i i planted some lettuce seed within some lettuce small pots and they all died because i never had the time to water them lettuce loves water loves water unlike pepper lettuce loves water so if you can um, facilitate the regular watering of your lettuce you'll find that even before the 40 days your lettuce plant will be ready for harvesting right it will take a longer period of time if if you have let's say if you have a timer or if you have, have a bell siphon system very much the, the water is timely turned on and off that means water is not 
I call it now, um, readily in the system. It allows some dry pee you are within within the system, right? If you have a system where which the water is always running, you'll get your lettuce before the party days. If you have a timer or a bell siphoning, you know, that controls the flow of water, sometimes it, it's at, it's on, sometimes it's off, sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, you might go over the party days. Right? 60 days is when you turn off the, the, the pressure, when you turn down the pressure and you have it flowing gently. Right? Now I have two planter beds. Right? And if I should, let's say, turn off the water in this planter bed, you see that the water flow actually increases. However, what this does is it increases the amount of water that exists within the bed. And if this continues for a prolonged period of time, what will happen is that chances are the roots of the lettuce plant might end up become too soggy and they might die. So as a result of notice, noticing that issue, I place a second planter bed, right? And this have aided in balancing off the water um, between the two. So therefore, if you, if you notice right here, the water is actually going down. Um, because I've actually turned on this system, right? So both systems, well, should I say, both planter beds, right, are working with each other. They are getting enough water so as to ensure that the lettuce do come to fruition. Now, I carried you through all the process of, you know, getting the plants up to a particular height. This is actually um, the, 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 the lettuce plant actually being re-implanted as a result of my, my little experiment, right? so it's 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 they're yeah, catching along i i said that i wasn't going to be doing um much video on them because you know i've actually gone through that but i realized that the whole amount of days that um persons actually um shear um for your lettuce it varies depending on the system that you use depending on where you're at because i'm in i'm in the tropics i'm in the caribbean i'm in jamaica right so um my 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 lettuce might mature a little bit quicker than let's say that if you're in canada within a heated room or if you're in australia within the um within the, the temperate side you know it, it, it depends on where you're at right you will get different results um the, the the thing is you should try to keep it within the allotted temperature range right um, I change water here. The reason why I change water is because I have more fish within this space than these um, plants a bit actually need um, to produce nutrients. So if I do not change the water, too much nutrients or too much solids will actually end up in here and they will clog the system and I have it being like, you know, overfilled, um, or should I say, it flooded, right? Although it's a half inch pipe there but it will i have cases where in which uh, i've experienced a case where in which it have actually flooded because a lot of solids were in it and the only way to get rid of some of the solids is to actually do a uh, 50 percent water change within my tub system and i do not use pre-filtration system within my aquaponic setup that's a different story i did a video on that if you missed that you can check it out so um that's it for the video today i hope that this video actually shed a little light as far as timing is concerned uh you know how long your your your, your was kind of run marine right how long your 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 have your lettuce within the planter bed and uh peace out bye bye